as you can probably tell, I'm a little bit out of breath. I've been uh, pacing my apartment up and down, ranting and raving, talking about things in my head, you know, shouting things as <laughs> a profanitary, uh, prof using some sort of profanity, profanity or profanity, 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 using bad swear, swear words, right? Using adult words um, in the face of all this madness that's been going on at the moment at our GameStop. Have you seen what's happened? Have you seen what's occurred to GME, AMC, NOK, uh, the, the trading platform Robinhood to a certain extent, free trade here in the UK? It's been an absolute madness, man. So since I've kind of updated um, essentially, um, you know, a rogue element of a uh, very smart, very clued uh financial wall street people on a subreddit called wall street bets had basically noticed some very fugazi and dubious movements around the gamestop um stock and they decided to play the hedge fund managers and wall street elite at their own game and driving up the value of um, said stock in a very legal and just way that they've done in the past you know quite evidently in years gone by and then for some reason the these um financial elites who for the most part are swimming in more money that they know that they can do with right probably you know generational wealth that goes beyond even generations whatever that is they got all their knickers in a twist and they decided to bring an end to it and how did they do the end to it i think we should have known this we should have been aware this was going to happen but they basically put a squeeze or put a word into these trading platforms like robin hood who essentially kowtowed and um, prevented users from buying gme stock earlier today and only allowed them to sell, which obviously naturally drove the price down and allowed the people who had invested in it and went to short in the beginning an option to kind of sell their positions at the prices that maybe they are able not to lose that much money on. It's quote unquote textbook standard market manipulation, like in an absolutely abhorrent, like you've seen various people on tv on places like cnbc and other financial television platform basically boasting some of these um gatekeepers are basically boasting and talking about how they needed to uh, put these safeguards in place to protect us the everyday man when in effect they're just putting those safeguards in place to make sure they protect their own pockets and it's flipping diabolical man it's just a it's such a weird and clear crystal clear reminder as to just how little these people think of us right just how much disregard and apathy they seem to have for our even existence that we dare to get involved and play the same game that they've been playing for generations literal generations profiting of it and essentially costing us the average day person our livelihoods and our potential and future to be able to you know secure any sort of um great future for our family and it's such an eye-opening thing for me because it really does show you how basically the game is rigged in any way shape and form most institutions have this element in them and maybe it's just been exposed now in the financial world but every sort of institution corporation um especially in the higher echelons they have this way of is manipulating the market manipulating the options uh limiting the amount of people who can gain and profit it and profit from said options which then negatively um affects the future prospects of these people right like it's definitely a rigged game they try and make it seem as if all you have to do is put your head down and work hard but as soon as you work hard and you figure out what they've been doing to get all the monies and you try and play them at their own game they try and ice you out of it they prevent you from buying options on an app do you know how insane that is? Do you know how crazy that is? Robinhood. The app is called Robinhood, by the way. I think um Dave Portnoy mentions it. It's called Robinhood, right? It's named after a guy who stole from the rich to give back to the poor. And now they're preventing the poor from making money so they can protect the rich. You couldn't write this. You could not write this. So this is courtesy of GameStop. Sorry, of courtesy of The Guardian. It says GameStop shares plunge after a ban by Robinhood app. And I have to admit to the UK, free trade was also um, not allowing um, certain people or not allowing us, especially I think maybe after 
a few hours after um, the markets opened, I'm going to say around three or four hours later, it became very difficult to buy GME stock in any way, shape or form, especially when it went into a bit of a dip, it automatically kind of freeze the option to buy. It put you in the queue. And then as soon as you went back to the app, it said basically it had been rejected. So that was obviously marketing, market manipulation. And now, uh, you know, a, a small collection of people I'm sure are going to be added onto it have now fired a class action lawsuit against Robin Hood. So this is going to go on like if if they thought they were going to be able to quell this uprising and quash the little man they've had, they've basically just poured petroleum all over it do you know what i mean this is a this this is going to go on for a while so anyway let's continue the article it says um small investors mounting and the soul on wall street speculators suffered a setback on thursday as trading platforms banned them from buying more shares and gain stops spawning conspiracy theory political intervention and at least one lawsuit amateur trading app um, robin hood stopped users from investing any further into gamestop a u.s chain of video game stores and seven other com companies on thursday after an extraordinary rise in their value spurred by users of the chat forum website uh, reddit the move slammed the upward surge in the share price into reverse and sparked allegation that the hedge funds had wielded influence over Robinhood and other platforms to stop the route. Uh, the fallout even caused an unlikely accord between opposite extremes of the US political spectrum, with Ted Cruz, Republican Ted Cruz, and Democrat Alexandria Ocasio Cortez both calling for a hearing into the decision to what to halt the trades. Um, this is a tweet, obviously, from Alexandria Ocasio Cortez saying the post saying the following: "This is unacceptable. We now need to know more about Robin Hood's decision to block retail investors from purchasing stock while hedge funds are freely able to trade the stock as they see fit. As a member of the financial service CMT, I'd support a hearing if necessary." And Ted Cruz uh, re quoted tweeted that and said fully agree um then the article continues it says it follows a meteoric a meteor meteor meteoric meteoric that's how you pronounce it meteoric rise in the share price of retail gamestop um a handful of other stock including nokia cinema chain amc and blackberry that began on the wall street bets chat page forum and reddit where users took aim at the hedge funds making big bets against the companies as amateurs investors spiked so, Oh, I keep, my reading out loud is so bad. As amateur investors piled into stocks that hedge funds had tipped to surge, to struggle, sorry, and fail, the resulting rise in the share prices saw GameStop's value hit $30 billion, $22 billion at one stage, more than 100 times what it's worth in August. This has left Wall Street institutions, including hedge fund Melvin Capital, sitting in billions of dollars of losses. That the decision, but the decision by Robinhood and other trading platforms, including Trading212, which is popular in the UK, and Free Trade, you didn't get away of it to restrict users activity by allowing them to only to sell and not to buy removed the major catalyst from the wall street rebellion's progress gamestop shares were down by 42 44 percent by the end of the day while the share prices in other seven companies caught up in the, in the affair including nokia blackberry trivago amc also suffered big falls as share buying from the uh, was effectively halted traders joined in a frenzy have flocked to robin hood an app which claims to democratize right that's that's the irony the finance by letting ordinary people share trades the trades are offered uh, free commission charges on the app which is founded only in 2013 now has more than 13 users but by banning um but by buying ban so yeah, but the buying ban on the Reddit traders has sparked a furious backlash. Social media lit up with theories um, about hedge funds with the interests of the Robinhood company and other trading platforms flexing their muscles to squash the rebellion, right? And of course, here on the next page, we've got uh, Dave Portnoy sharing his opinion and views as to what he thinks went on. And basically, I echo a lot of this and co-sign it 100%. Okay, emergency press conference time. Maybe the craziest one that I've ever done. And I've been ranting and raving all day. But what is going on on Wall Street? The way they have absolutely cheated, stolen, robbed everyday people who have been investing with Robinhood and other E-Trade accounts and all this stuff by saying, hey, hedge funds are getting smoked. Billionaires are getting smoked. So we're no longer going to let you trade on certain stocks, GMC, AMC, NOC. We're just shutting it off. You can't buy those stocks anymore. You can only sell them. We are going to crash that those stocks so all our hedge fund billionaire friends can get out and not get killed. It is one of the most remarkable, illegal, shocking robberies in the history. In plain sight. In plain sight. No closed door meetings. Nothing behind. 
just right in your face, putting a gun in your mouth and saying, give us all your money. And it is, it's very, very much true. And, and it's so bad. It's so bad. And look at this. A group of people have put together a class action lawsuit against Robin Hood. Um, it says here, the nature of the action. It says Robin Hood is an online brokerage firm. Robin Hood purposely, willfully, and knowingly right, um, removing the stock GMC from its trading platform in the midst of an unprecedented stock rise, thereby deprive the retail investors of the ability to invest in the open market and manipulating the open market. Crazy, right? People are actually going to sue. So if ever there was a... If ever there was um, uh, an example of the Streisand effect in some ways, maybe it's, just, maybe it's not really a Streisand effect, but it's definitely backfired. They tried to um, they tried to basically force us into selling our positions, kind of strong arm us, twist our arm, um, test our will, and everyone's basically held. No one's basically sold their position. Some people have got nervous and obviously decided to move on to other things. But for the most part, this exercise in making sure that we can stick two fingers up at Wall Street has worked and may long continue. I cannot wait until tomorrow. I cannot wait until next week. And I cannot wait until to see where this goes, isn't it? GME, AMC, knock to the moon. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going.